Hello mathematicians, welcome. Today's video is going to be looking at nominal and effective interest rates. So a bit of terminology first up. Nominal interest rates is the quoted compound interest rates for an investment or loan, usually quoted as percentage per annum. So for example, 6.5% per annum compounded monthly. The fact that it's compounded monthly implies that it's a nominal interest rate. It's not always monthly, there are different compounding periods, so let's have a look. Typically, will be presented with annually, one time a year, quarterly, four times a year, monthly, 12 times a year, fortnightly, 26 times a year, weekly, 52 times a year, and finally, daily, 365 times a year. We can get questions in further maths that relate to all these different compounding periods. So a few calculations. Sample problem number one, calculate the value of the following investment. We have a principal of $50,000, the rate is 5% per annum, and it's going to be invested for four years. And we're going to investigate what happens when we compound it annually, compounding it monthly, and compounding it weekly. So the general formula is as follows. Vn equals V0 multiplied by 1 plus R over 100x to the power of xn. Because annually has an x value of 1, as in once a year, this simplifies somewhat. Ends up just becoming a bracket of 1 plus 5 over 100, all to the power of m. Okay, so we can sub in our value, our initial value of 50,000, our interest rate of 5%, and our n for four years. That predicts the value of our principal of 50,000 being invested at 5% per annum interest rate for four years, compounding annually. It will be $60,775.31. Let's see what happens when we go monthly. Equation starts the same, but now we're going to substitute in an x equals 12 because there's 12 months in a year. So our major change now is the fact that our growth factor is going to be 5 over 1200 raised to the power of 12n. In this scenario, we're investing for four years. Four years monthly is four lots of 12, gives us a future value of 48 months. We're calculating what is this value in 48 months. Okay, so it still represents four years, but it's expressed in months because now our rate is a percentage per month and our number of terms is expressed in months as well. So that returns a value of $61,044.77, okay, slightly higher than the annual investment strategy. Let's look at the weekly. Weekly has a value of x equals 52, 52 weeks in a year. So 52 is substituted in. That changes our equation again. It's 5 over 5200 or 5200 raised to the power of 52m. 52, 52 weeks by four years, it gives me a value of 208 weeks. Our interest rate is all in terms of weeks, so our n, the number of terms, has to be in terms of weeks. So that investment strategy gives me a return of $61,064.27, an even better return. Let's consider the term effective interest rate. The effective interest rate of a loan is equal to the interest rate of a loan that compounds yearly and pays the same amount of interest over a year. And that's a little bit wordy. My take on this for effective interest is, what annual compounding interest rate will produce the same amount of interest as a quarterly or monthly or fortnightly or weekly or daily compounding interest rate? So typical questions, how this could be put forward. What annual interest rate will produce the same amount of interest as 6.5% per annum compounded monthly? Or what annual interest rate will produce the same amount of interest for 4.2% per annum compounded fortnightly? What annual interest rate will produce the same amount of interest as 5.4% per annum, compounded weekly, or what annual interest rate will produce the same amount of interest as a 3.8% per annum, compounded daily. Now that's how I interpret a question about effective interest. Sometimes, however, they're written like this. What is the effective interest rate for a nominal rate of 6.5% per annum, compounded monthly? So we go back to our previous question. They can all be rewritten, not as wordy as this, but simply, what is the effective interest rate? We are trying to work out what interest rate per annum represents the same return as an interest rate compounded monthly or an interest rate compounded fortnightly, weekly, or daily? We want to know what's the annual interest rate equivalent. And that's what the effective interest rate is. Let's look at three ways in which we can calculate the effective interest rate. This is the longest way. I wouldn't suggest people do this, but let's just look at this in terms of a problem-solving approach. We know that $50,000 at an interest rate of 5% per annum for four years compounded monthly will return this amount, $61,044.77. If I put that into an annual equation to work out what is the annual rate, which is what the effective interest rate is, let's see what we get. 
what interest rate are annually would be required over four years to get the same value of $61,044.77. We find that it requires an annual interest rate of 5.11619% per annum. So the effective interest rate for a 5% compounding monthly is in fact 5.116% per annum compounded annually. Now that's a long way to go about it. Let's have a look at a shorter way. There's an equation that directly converts a nominal interest rate to an effective interest rate. And here it is. We place in the nominal interest rate of 5% calculated monthly. N becomes 12 down the bottom and 12 up the top. So again, the effective rate for 5% per annum compounding monthly is 5.116% per annum compounded annually. Now the third and final way is the shortest of all. And that's using the TI Inspire calculator, which we'll look at now. There is a function in the TI Inspire CAS calculator that converts your normal rate back to an effective interest rate. So we type in E double F, then we enter in the normal interest rate, the periods per year, in this case it was monthly, and we press enter. So it tells us the effective interest rate with a normal of 5% per annum compounded monthly 12 times a year is 5.11619% per annum. The TI Inspire CAS calculator, using the effective interest formula, allows us to enter in the nominal interest rate of 5, the compounding periods of 12, because it's monthly, to calculate the effective interest rate. And of course that becomes 5.116% per annum compounded annually. The calculator also has the feature of the reverse, where it can calculate the nominal interest rate if you enter in the effective interest rate and the number of compounding periods per year. So here, if I use NOM as the formula for nominal, it will convert my effective interest rate back into the nominal interest rate. Let's now look at example two using the three different techniques. So in this scenario, we have a principal of $50,000, a rate of 5% per annum over four years, but it's compounding weekly. So here's the return we expect to get with those terms and conditions. We end up with an investment of $61,064.27. I wanna see what annual or effective interest rate will give me the same return over the same period of time. So I'm working out after four years what interest rate will return me a value of $61,064.27. If I use the TI Inspire CAS calculator sole function, I find the interest rate is 5.12458%. So the effective interest rate for a 5% per annum compounding weekly is 5.125% per annum compounded annually. Let's try our second way, the shorter way, using equation to calculate the effective interest rate. Here's our equation. We substitute in our normal rate of 5% and N is 52 because we're talking about 52 weeks in a year. So 52 is substituted in for N and N respectively. That gives us an effective rate, again, of 5.12458% per annum. Finally, using the CAS calculator. Using the effective interest rate feature on the CAS calculator, we can type in the nominal interest rate of 5% and the compounding periods of 52 because this was a weekly compounded and press return and that gives us our effective interest of 5.12458% per annum. So using the effective interest rate feature on the CAS calculator returns an effective interest rate of 5.12458. Again, that's consistent with all the previous techniques we've used. Of course, as we showed before in the previous example, this can be reversed if we use the nominal equation from our TI Inspire calculator. We enter in the effective interest rate, the compounding periods per year, and it will return the nominal interest rate. Okay, let's look at some simple examples. So we want to calculate the effective interest rate for the following nominal rates. First of all, we've got a 7.2% compound of fortnightly. So we want to know the effective interest rate. We know R, the nominal rate, and we know that N is 26 because it's fortnightly, 26 fortnights per year. So using the equation, we substitute in our value for R, our normal rate of 7.2, N is 26 periods per year, and we get an effective interest rate of 7.454% per annum. Using the calculator as well, we can use the effective interest rate formula, and that returns exactly the same value. Remember, effective interest rate is always greater than the nominal interest rate. Effective interest rate, 7.45, is bigger than the nominal of 7.2. Let's look at our arrangement where we have 4.5% per annum compounded daily. Put in our equation, 4.5 is the rate, daily N becomes 365. 
That returns an effective interest rate of just over 4.6% per annum using the TI CAS calculator with the effective interest formula. Again, it gives us the same value of 4.6025. As always, remember the effective interest rate has to be greater than the nominal rate. Finally, 3.8% per annum compounded quarterly. Let's use our equation. Our rate, our normal rate is 3.8 and represents the fact that there's four quarters in the year. That gives us a returned effective interest rate of 3.854% per annum or using the calculator, exactly the same return. Once again, recall the effective interest rate, 3.85, has to be greater than the nominal of 3.8. If you're getting it the wrong way around, you've done something wrong, always check your answers. Finally, let's have a look at reverse. So we're trying to calculate the normal interest rate for a given effective interest rate. So let's calculate the normal interest rate for an effective interest rate of 6.4% per annum if A, it's compounded fortnightly. So here's our equation to work out the effective interest rate. We'll now substitute the value in of 6.4% that we've been given. This time we want to know R, that's our unknown. And in this case, we have got fortnightly compounded, so it's 26 periods per year. We use our solve function. That tells us the rate is either minus 5,476, which clearly isn't correct because we're increasing in value, or 6.21%. Using the TI Inspire CAS calculator, we use the nominal rate equation. 6.4 was the effective interest rate. 26 is the periods of compounding per year. And that also returns a 6.21%. Again, the effective interest rate has to be greater than the nominal interest rate. Effective 6.4, normal 6.2, correct. Example two, let's do the same one, but compound it weekly. So here's our equation. We know our effective rate was 6.4 initially from our question. We know the compounding periods is 52 per year because it's weekly and we want to know R, the nominal rate. Use our solve function and we find again, the only plausible answer is a rate of 6.207, which is slightly less than 6.4, just checking that. Using the calculator, we find the normal rate of an effective of 6.4 with 52 compounding periods a year is again 6.207%. Always check that the effective rate is greater than the nominal rate. And finally, this example where we're compounding monthly. Here's our equation. 6.4 is the effective interest rate. R, the normal rate we want to calculate. Monthly is 12 compounding periods per year. We use the solve function on the TI Inspire calculator and we get an answer that works of 6.2196% compounded monthly. And of course, using TI Inspire again with the nominal rate formula, we get the same response, 6.2196 rounded to four decimal places. Final check again, the effective interest rate is greater than the nominal interest rate. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's clarified some ideas about the difference between effective interest rate and normal interest rates. Sometimes it's a tricky concept for students to get their head around. If you've learned something from this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.